You had no choice. You gotta run away to Mexico. You don't think I thought about that? You think I want to go to prison? So let's go. I can't. What about you? What about Mateo? I'm not taking you down with me. You get caught with me, you can get 30 years, too. I'm willing to risk it. I love you, Jesus. No, what's up? First you want me to go straight, then all of a sudden you want me to run. Look, you don't got a chance if you don't take that deal. Take no deal? Forget that. You know what happens to snitches? At least in prison, I can see you and Mateo on the weekends. But we can be together all the time in Mexico. No, Camila. We'll take Mateo with us. We can raise him together. Can we do that? Performance from our next guest, Vanessa Vasquez from East Los High. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, Dennis, take us through this. Yes, Vanessa, at the count of three, we are all going to sit down and scream hua. You got it? Hua? Yes. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> hua! Yay. Okay. <laughs> Bruno, Whoa. get closer over here. Get the closer what? one. I've never uh, stopped hating this chair. Yeah. Uh, Are those uh, classroom chairs? It is. Yeah. yeah. It's, this is the zoo, but it's also a school. Oh, yeah. okay. Because we're here you to learn. Belong over I was going to say, I think yeah. I belong there because I'm Thank from you. East Los High. I should yeah. be sitting in the studio. That's true. Chairs. Yo, well, that's the theme. It's, it's that you're from East Los High, so we want to have a school theme. Also, I don't know if you saw the last segment, but nobody in this room knows anything about history, politics, <laughs> communism, oh, socialism, or anything. So I think we need to teach some more stuff. Right. But everybody has an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go to the no matter how informed uh, everyone is, right? Yeah. So uh, we had a couple of your um, cast classmates who are also your castmates <laughs> on the show. Uh, um, who um, call me out Alexandra here. Rodriguez. Oh, yes. yeah. Carlito Rivera. Carlito Rivera. I always remember their faces. <laughs> Names are really bad with. Yes. What an amazing cast of great Latino talents on the show. Can you tell yes. me a little bit about that and how you guys feel about the show inside it? I think we're all super excited to be a part of the show. It's a very pioneering show. Mm -hmm. It's the first Latino show with all Latino cast for high school students. Mm -hmm. And the fact that everyone there is super talented. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm, I watch scenes sometimes and I see my castmates and I'm just like, wow, that was so good what you just said. Whatever you just, I don't know, that was so good. Like, I'm there, we become each other's biggest fans. So, That's yeah, nice. it's, it, you get this feeling that um, these are the moments that we're going to remember the most, you know. I feel like everyone's going to have really great careers mm -hmm. from here on out. So it's it's almost magical to watch everyone. Oh, of course you will. The show's been <laughs> Emmy nominated, honey. Like, yes, what else do you have. expect? And there's something important that I read about, like, you as uh, an actress making waves in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you, like, as an upcoming Latina and then now with the show because making waves in Hollywood I'm sorry but that's a big deal I mean you're coming from Texas right? from Texas yeah mm -hmm. I mean so. I think it's it's definitely a dream come true because um, I have to thank a lot of the actresses that came before us and the, especially from Mexico like Salma Hayek Penelope Cruz came from Spain um, I think they helped pave the way for us especially since they had to come from another country. They mm -hmm. had to adapt to our culture and learn our language. So I think for us to, as being born here, Latin American um, artists, I feel like it, it should be a lot easier for us now. And, and it's a great time because there's so many TV shows now that are requesting for us. They right. want Latinos. They know that we're the ones watching the TV shows, the movies, and it's a great time. For yeah, everyone. it is. So How was that first step, though? Like, I'm always so into, like, you guys as Latinos, you know, going out there and fighting and going for the dream. How how was that first step of, like, I'm moving to Los Angeles from <laughs> Texas? Like, It's kind of scary. I think when I first told my mom or my grandma, they're like, no, 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 mijita. ¿Cómo? ¿Con quién? Who are you going to stay with? And what are you going to do? And I was like... I don't really know, but I feel well, like I'll figure it out <laughs> whenever right. I get there. And hell you did. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> I think we all do. You know, we have, no matter where we go, we always have a way of adapting and just figuring life out. Well, you know, one cool right. thing about East Los High is not just that there's a great Latino cast, mm -hmm. but, you know, Latinos are always saying, don't pander to us and we'll watch. We want to see ourselves on screen, but we want to see ourselves in quality things, not just something that's Latino. Right. But, but the thing about East Los High is there's reality. There's some edgy, provocative things that you guys touch upon, and right. that's why the audience is resonating and relating into it. Right, exactly. I feel like all of our topics are very universal, and um, a lot of people love to... We have a huge demographic from 18 to 45, wow. um, and sometimes, and it, we have so many races that watch the show, people that re relate to us on, on levels of love, of coming out in high school, of culture, you know? Uh, there's a lot of 
different minority groups that yeah. also resonate with the show because they've had to deal with a lot of growing up in their own culture but also being American. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's so special about the show that it, it is very universal. Uh, Vanessa, what in the world went through your mind? Because you didn't make it through the first round of auditions, mm -hmm. but when they finally called you for the show, they're like, you're gonna play a bisexual, and you gotta <laughs> kiss women, and you gotta kiss men. I said, um, I kissed a girl. I think I liked it. Put <laughs> it on. I had to do the liked it, like George Lopez, because mm -hmm. it's from East LA. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's, That's funny. Yeah. Because you called the boy, your parents, and you're like, you got their permission to do the well, role? Is that what no, it was? No, I, I just called them and told them. I said, hey, I'm going to play this role. It's my sexual role. I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be kissing <laughs> girls and guys. And they're like, OK, well, we feel great. That's what really did grandma good. say? That's you a big know, deal. surprisingly, when the show came out, my, my tia called me. She said, you know what? You have the coolest grandpa because he saw you kissing another girl. Oui. And he said, oh, she just said this. She's doing a great job. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. I'm sure, I'm sure wow, I love right right that there. scene. <laughs> Do you think, because in East Los High, I noticed, too, the writing is so good, and it's such an accurate portrayal of sort of that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important that you have, or obviously it's important, but why do you think it's so important that you have writers there who really mm -hmm. understand the struggle and being in East Los Angeles, being from East L.A. Uh, is a huge thing. It's not just people who see it. They, they actually lived it. So Yeah, you know, um, what's really great about the show is that the directors, one of our first directors, he was one of the writers. So he would work with us and he would tell us, um, does this feel right for you? Is this something that your character, you feel your character would naturally say? Or my, my first director, he, is, um, he was a uh, Cuban. And he would ask me, he's like, this is, do you think this is something a girl from, from East LA, Mexican American would say? Wow, that's great. So yeah, they, they were very open to stuff like that that really helped cultivate our characters. And, um, and our last director, he's from East LA, so he loved it. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> This is what people in East LA do. <laughs> and you're gonna stand there and you're gonna kiss, but you're gonna hold and you're gonna hide in a corner because that's what they do in East LA. Wow. <laughs> so I feel like the best performances come from that true collaboration um, of, right. of like that just so spawns so naturally uh, between actor and director. Exactly, because yeah. it helps you have artistic freedom. Absolutely. Both with, with the director, the writers, and yourself. And mm. it just helps create magic on set. Mm. That's one of the best things. So happen. your um your character is Camila <laughs> Barrios, right? Mm -hmm. So I would like to know and a personal level like what is it from Vanessa that you bring into Camila like what what things do you have alike because I'm sure there's a lot that you can relate to yeah no definitely um, I get this question a lot and I laugh because my character is really crazy and she does a lot of wild things and I was like you don't have any of that no, I have, yeah <laughs> I have, I have friends in real life was like that was you were playing yourself and, was, <laughs> and I'm like wait no 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 I wasn't now um that was so awesome that we're gonna go to commercial we're gonna come back with more right. on that with Vanessa Vasquez from East Los Angeles right here in the zoo stay tuned and we'll be right back yeah, yeah. we are back here in the zoo with the very beautiful and talented Vanessa Vasquez of East Los High. now this is a, a question, a behind-the-scenes kind of question. Mm -hmm. Okay. The cast is young, gorgeous. Yes. Very vibrant. Mm. It's hot and spicy. Very. Behind the scenes, oh. is there anybody kind of, you know, drama? is there a romantic vibe happening, oh. you know, in the green room, in the makeup room? What's going on? I never on thought there? about that, and I'm a fan of yeah. the show, by the way. Of course not, guys. No. It's completely <laughs> professional. <laughs> completely professional. Nobody's no. attracted to each other, even well, though they're kissing and having, you know, sex scenes and things like that. Everyone's <laughs> gorgeous. You know, I think we're... I I think we're all attracted to each other. Really? I think it's one of those, um, what is it, universal pan things? Pan love? Is yeah, that okay. what it's called? Pansexual, pan, I think. Pansexual love? Oh. Where everyone just loves each other? Oh, well, that's just like here on the Zoom. <laughs> exactly. Interesting. So you guys understand. After the show, you know, we have the after party. All right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey, who kisses the best on the show? I gotta know. From the characters that I've kissed, all of yes, them? Yes, because uh, Esta sale <laughs> con hombres, sale con mujeres, se enreda con todo el mundo en el show. You know, to be honest, they've they all kiss great. Really? Yeah, somebody asked me that in an interview earlier. They said, uh, what is the easiest thing you have to do on set? And I said, I think kissing, because of all my all my co-stars that I've had to kiss uh -huh. are great kissers. So I was like, come over here, let's have besitos. We know how to do this. Con lengüita no or sin lengüita? With oh, tongue or no tongue? Always with no tongue. Really? Yeah, we have to keep it professional. Oh, come on, people. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately. But, but you guys do the whole thing where it's like one lip in between the other lip in between the other lip, so a little bit of saliva gets exchanged, right? Ooh. It does, it does. Okay, that's okay. But that's how you know you have great chemistry. 
It's oh. right, isn't that when the... When you swap chemicals. <laughs> and bacteria. <laughs> when the chemicals like mix and they work well, it's like, oh, we must have great chemistry. Oh, I'm, I that's read that. True. I read that somewhere. I read and something that somewhere. about the smell too. Like if you Thermal like the smell. other person's right. smell, yeah, mm. it the means that the pheromones are working. Exactly. We could get along. Like everyone smells great here. I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Get out of I've been trying to put on deodorant. <laughs> There's been days where I forget to put on deodorant, and my pheromones will not work. You know, nope. I, I need I need to be sure, and be sure means the deodorant. They say that when you sweat, like at the gym, you yes. actually attract more people sometimes. Yes. Sometimes the wrong really? people. Really? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes the wrong people. Yeah. At least you're attracting them. Yeah, at least somebody's coming along. By the way, we have a Mexicana, uh -huh. and I say Mexicana instead of Mexicana, okay? No, because Mexicana. I'm Spanish. Mexicana. Mexicana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tejana here. Mm -hmm. Is that the right way to say it? Tejana. Tejana. Yeah. What do you think is the difference between Mexican culture in the homeland and the way Mexican culture is kind of reinvented in Texas in, in its own thing? Um, I think there's, I don't know. Sometimes I go back home and I feel like it's very similar. Where's I back home? Sorry. Well, okay, sorry. When I go back to Houston or I, when I go back to Monterrey, my, Monterrey. Da my dad, oh, okay. so my dad really lives my dad lives in Monterrey. I was born and raised in Texas. Okay. Um, I just think it's really, I don't know, actually. I think it's maybe the culture, more country. Pero también, can I say, talk to yeah. you guys? Yeah. 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 Ye
Ooh. Do you <laughs> have rivalry with someone? Maybe no. she doesn't. No, I don't she think I do. She might in the future. She's going to have an amazing career. It, but I don't true. think I do. You know, I would probably say it was like, okay, have fun. Go ahead. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Let's see what Vanessa. happens. It should be fun. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thank Twitty. you for having me. It's Thank been a blast. Thank you, Vanessa. Yeah. And congratulations Thanks. on everything. Guys, Thank you. don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with dreamy singer-songwriter Danny Fortunati's Keep It Here on The Zoo. Woo!